Column chromatography. Column chromatography is carried out in a column. The bottom of the column is first filled with cotton or glass wool to hinder solid particles from escaping the column. The column is now filled up with the stationary phase like silica, alumina, calcium carbonate, magnesia, cellulose, etc. Now the sample is packed about the stationary phase inside the column. Now the mobile phase is poured into the column. The mobile phase flees downward in the column and separates the mixture. The mixture interacts differently with the mobile phase and stationary phase. The molecules which interact more with the mobile phase move fast to the bottom part of the column, while those molecules which interact more with the stationary phase move slowly and stay in the upper part of the column. Compressed gas like nitrogen etc. can be used to make the mobile phase move faster. Now the molecules could be extracted in the form of fractions in a process called elution. In elution, the mobile phase is eluent. Eluvite is the sample molecule in the column. An eluvite scaping with mobile phase is eluvite, or the sample molecule mixed with the mobile phase which is scaping the column is termed as eluvite. The column is being prepared in two distinct ways dry method and wet method. Wet method or sludge packing. The stationary phase blends with the mobile phase and forms a slurry. The slurry is then teamed into the column. Dry method In the dry method, the dry powder of the stationary phase gets added directly into the column. Michael's wet forged column chromatography to examine plant pigments in the year 1906. It is a highly efficient method to purify and separate solids and liquids both. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertaining. Like and share this video if you wanna help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.